Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yeah. Morning. So it's a uh, slight change to the dog training schedule today. Doing some uh, Nasdu training, working with some of these reprobates here. What's that? <laughs> on, their, on their level three course. So this morning we're doing a bit of tracking. That is, well, actually that's the aim. Whether or not that happens is another thing. Um, so yeah. So say hi, guys. Hi, guys. hi guys. There we are. See, well trained. And then we've got another dog here waiting. Now we've got a. Bit of a, we've got a bit of a fine system going on at the minute where if your dog pees or craps during the uh, training area then you have to buy the buns so we're already got some buns set for lunchtime because uh, somebody's dog took a dump on the track and uh, so that's one lot of buns so Paul is doing everything he can to make sure his dog goes to the toilet <laughs> to make sure he doesn't have to buy buns so so they're slightly different to the pet dog training this so we're doing some tracking training this morning so i'll i'll check in again later so this is paul starting his track uh, this is going to be interesting because neil has laid this track for the first time and we're doing a, what we call a two pole start so um so paul doesn't actually know where it starts and he's got to trust his dog so it's quite fresh, it's uh, quite damp underground, uh, underfoot, and um, there's, uh, there's a quite strong breeze coming straight towards Dog and Hand at the minute. So as you can see, he's skirting back and forth a little bit, but he's on the track doing really well. So we've got a nice little uh, dog distraction to the right, and we'll see how he works with this. So what's for the change of body language, Paul? Make sure he tells you that don't go with him on a whim. Wait for him to sink into that harness. Well done. So he's found the first article. Nice indication. Well done that. Now this is not it's not sport tracking this is tactical tracking so we're not uh, there's no we're not deducting points for the dog casting or anything like that obviously the aim is to track as fast as we can because tactical tracking is about tracking people um, who are potentially committing an offense or a, who are vulnerable missing people so the aim is to find them as quick as possible so even though we train and aim for the accuracy we're not uh, marking him down for casts if you need to it's more about his ability to read his dog's behaviour um, and locate articles that are deposited on the track. Yeah. Just watch what he does. His dog's already told him he's not tracking, it's whether or not he's picked up on it. Give him a bit of line, Paul. That's it. Right. Before you go any further, watch your dog, because he's not doing what he was doing earlier. So go. So if you're not happy, go back to the last place you were happy he was tracking. Right. He's actually, I, I'd say he's tracking there, Neil. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. He's tracking. We've got the other article, so we must have been tracking. <laughs> yeah, well, this this is why you need to make sure your sight lines are right because you're the one that's got to tell him he's right or wrong, you see. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, are you okay? <laughs> Do you have any injuries? There we are, a bit of welfare for the students. Um, and then we'll save this one for who's been framed. You know all those times you were laughing at me with that video falling over with Ace? Dogs are all sorted. Uh, we make my way over to uh, Cuddathy Manly. I've, uh, I've got a one to one with a young staffy, I believe, that's got um, issues with walking on a lead, uh, pulling mainly, I think. Uh, recall issues won't come back when called, and apparently is really giddy as a kipper uh, when, uh, when people come to the house. So I've no doubt that uh, a lot of the issues are going to be lack of engagement during walks or too much engagement at times when the dog needs to learn to relax. So it's uh, I love I love my dog. It's all about educating the owners and also um, just everything's different. No matter who I go to see, the behaviours for me, uh, the reason for them is usually the same but uh the way that we deal with them in relation to the owners just watch my hand excuse my hands a minute sorry about that i managed to press my uh, my menu button on the phone i think i might invest in a in a, a different type of camera if i'm going to do this regularly but yeah so i'm going to see this um this this staffy at Cuddath. So, like I said, it's uh, all the behaviours are, are very similar, but um, the the way we deal with it sometimes changes depending on the owner. Um, obviously, the engagement, all that kind of stuff, and the way we communicate with the dogs are all the same. But uh, usually, the way I explain it depends on. I think I need to trim my beard a bit. Uh, this, uh, depends on really the way uh, the way they interact personally and also the learning style of the owner is a really big thing because I have to adapt my teaching style to the way that the owners learn and uh, and that's one of the biggest parts of my job uh, the dog side the dog side is the easy bit for me I've been doing it for so long uh, and most most decent dog trainers and behaviorists will say the same the dog bit is the easy bit um, it's the people bit. Uh, everyone has their own influences that makes them believe certain things. They'll have had dogs all their life and their parents will have taught them how to teach the dogs things and how to behave around dogs. Um, and what a lot of people don't realise is depending on certain breeds, dogs have changed over the years. You know, it's German Shepherds years ago are completely different to the German Shepherds these days. There's loads of high drive Shepherds that that, that are out there now, um, and the way and the way the dogs have adapted to the way that we live. You know, when my parents had dogs, they, we had more time for the dogs. We, you know, you weren't our our working days have, have extended these days. Our our lives are busier. We've got a load of other crap to deal with. Away from work, our bus our life, personal lives and family lives are busier. So we actually don't have the, the free time available uh, to spend with the dogs a lot of the time that we used to have. And, uh, and that has a, a negative effect on the relationship, unfortunately. And a, a lot of behavioral issues as a result of that. So part of it is trying to teach people to take that extra bit of time to bond with their dogs and have that engagement and change the way that they interact with them at home to make the interactions more uh, appropriate so so yeah so that that's um, that's what I'm doing this morning so I'm on my way over to there um, and uh, I'll catch up with you later on right so just had a, a great behavior visit with uh, uh, just a little Victor uh, a staffy issues with the excitement in the house and um, uh, dog walking, pull in and no recall etc. A lot of work still to be done so uh, just gonna get ready now to go down to one of the rescues to have a look at some dogs that they've got some problems with 
So, so yeah, just, uh, I was really chuffed with that, really good. The owners uh, took on board everything, learnt a lot, and uh, looking forward to see how it progresses. But uh, they've got to do all the work now, and that's uh, hopefully they'll stick with it. So, cool. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm piss wet through, been stuck out in the rain doing the training. Uh, joys of the job. So, yeah, right, I'm out of it. Day behave visits, all finished. Uh, went to see some dogs at the rescue to see how we could help the staff deal with some of the more um, challenging dogs and give them things to work on to try and help making them more uh, rehomeable really. So I worked on some engagement games and some uh, enhancement exercises to help the dogs cope with some of the stress, which is good. Uh, just got home and uh, just walking my own dogs. So sit. So got my little Ace here, my boy. Uh, just out for a bit of a, a walk. Come on in. And um, just uh, taking him for a walk and just chilling before I go back and sort the others out. Uh, a bit of an earlier finish today actually. Usually I'm still go, still out at work till about 10ish, depending on classes or other behaviour visits. So uh, it's an early start, just waiting for Claire and Abigail to get back from their shopping trip. And uh, we'll have a bit of tea. And then I've got uh, shed loads of paperwork to do and preparations for the Lord Mayor's visit tomorrow. So. It's getting a bit dark here now, so I'm going to leave you with it. Have, uh, have a good night, guys.